On October 31st of 2019, the House voted on the impeachment inquiry rules. What does astrology have to do with it? Did the planets tell us about this? Could we have predicted this was going to happen? Why now? What in the world do the heavens have to do with it? Let's talk about that right here, right now. Welcome to the channel. This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. Here at this channel, we help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. And today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics. I love to talk about politics. I like to talk about what's going on in the world. And it really intrigues me to see the planets in transit, to know what's going on in the heavens around us, and look at the energies. We can't see some of these planets as they move. All we can feel is their energy. Are the heavens telling us what's going to happen next? Why did this happen now? What's going on? We're going to check into that and take a deep dive into it right now. What you have before you is the chart. This is the day that Mercury went into retrograde, which was on Thursday, October 31st. Mercury, shown right here, we're going to circle that, went into retrograde in Scorpio. Scorpio, as a lot of you guys know, boy, that is the sign for investigation. CIA, the FBI, the KGB, NSA, NCIS. If you want to know something about something and anything, ask a Scorpio. Scorpio is a fixed, fixed water sign, which means it's kind of ice. It can be kind of cold. Scorpio is known for its stinger. Scorpions are going to wait and wait and wait and watch and wait before they sting you. Scorpio energy is some of the most intense energy in all of the zodiac that we can experience. So anytime the personal planets like Mercury or Venus or even Mars goes into retrograde in Scorpio, we know something is about to unfold. So what is it about Mercury that makes this so critically important? Well, Mercury is the planet of intelligence, communication. It is that really close messenger. It is the planet that is closest to the sun. It orbits the sun the fastest. It is always getting information from the sun. It is the planet of intellect. So when you put the planet of intellect and communication in the intense energy of Scorpio and then you put it into retrograde, what I like to say is this, what's done in the dark is about to come out in the light. But Mercury itself wasn't the real reason that all of this culminated on the 31st. I'm going to point you to a couple of the outer planets. We're going to talk about Neptune in Pisces. Now, for those of you who are maybe not as knowledgeable of astrology as others, Pisces is the sign. It's the last zodiac sign. Neptune is its ruling planet. It is squarely right now, also in retrograde, by the way, in its home sign of Pisces. Neptune is the planet that can cause delusions. Neptune, and in Pisces especially, can make one see things not for what they are, but for what we want them to be. Neptune is the dreamy, is the daydreamy, the I'm looking at things from a very odd, esoteric point of view. So some would say that a lot of the information that's coming out right now with the whistleblowers and all of this and the, the phone call. And if you guys don't know anything about that, you can go to some of the other channels and check this out. But a lot of people are saying right now that what's being presented is delusional. It's not logical. This is not a logical sign, nor is Neptune a logical planet. Right now, people's 
motivations on both sides are being put on display. What's their true motivation? What's their true desire, their true, true dream? What is the true desire? And what is the delusional thought process that makes people say, oh, we can impeach the president based on a phone call and based on a third party, their interpretation of said phone call. What delusions of grandeur can we have? Because let's remember over here, how are we going to then communicate because we're getting the communication of the deep, dark, intimate desires. Scorpio is a sign of the intimate desires that we don't talk about. In personal relationships, it's all about sex and intimacy and all of that kind of underworld, underbelly. All of those things we don't talk about in public. We don't allow to be seen in the light. Those deep desires right there that can sometimes be dark. And now it's the time to communicate that. We put that in what we call a trine. Now this is a loose trine because it's just in another water sign. So a trine is when the planets are in agreeing or when the same element water sign. Scorpio is a fixed water sign. Pisces is a mutable water sign. Let's talk about that for just a quick moment. What does being a mutable water sign mean? And then you have your ruling planet that can be given to delusion or illogical thought. What does that really mean? That means it can change at the drop of a hat, but no real concrete evidence. Scorpio is going to want the concrete evidence. So could this be that a lot of this deep desire, right? A lot of this deep desire is now coming out and we have to figure out how to frame it so that everybody believes it. Now, Lisa, why are you saying that? Certainly you can't be saying that this is all just kind of a crazy deranged power struggle on both sides. Oh, but I can. And you want to know why? Because down here, the other major outer planet that's here, and in my estimation is really impacting this, is Uranus. And it is in Taurus. Uranus is a, the planet of sudden change, of revolution. It is sitting in Taurus, which is the earth sign that represents money, power, personal power, personal money, our routines, how we live our day-to-day -day life. And it is, the disruptor is in Taurus and it is also in retrograde. What we are literally seeing playing out in front of us are the individual and then collective energies of disrupting the pattern and a power struggle because this my friends in retrograde in Taurus is trining this in Capricorn another earth sign Pluto and Saturn Pluto is a transformative planet. It's all about this rising of the Phoenix from the underworld. It is all about, let's make the deep intimate changes in our lives. And it is in a looser conjunction, but it is in a conjunction with Saturn in Capricorn. What is this? This is all about government. So let's put this all together. We have the disruptor down here looking for revolution, looking for change, rapid change, sudden change, disrupting the daily activities, disrupting the routine. A lot of people would say that the current president got elected because he wasn't part of the status quo. He wasn't part of the political regime. He wasn't part of Washington. 
And indeed, he ran on a platform of what? Draining the swamp. I'm going to change things in government. Government's not going to act the same way. These people that have been in office for 10, 15, 20 years, no longer are they going to be allowed to dictate to you or I exactly how our lives should go without understanding the ramifications. We're not going to continue to have government as usual. I'm going to disrupt the pattern. And indeed, there's been a lot of disruption. But the people that wish to stay in power, represented by Taurus, we're going to represent them here, are saying we don't want our power disrupted. We don't want our power changed. Saturn being the government, representation of the government, and Pluto here is saying, hey, you got to transform. These are all outer planets. We feel these energies over long periods of time. If you think this disruption is going to just stop here, no, no, no. Because, Pis because Neptune's going to be in Pisces till 2026, and Uranus is going to be in Taurus until 2026. So if you really think that all of these life as we know it changes are not going to continue after this is resolved, you got another thing coming. We have the clash of the titans, the clash of the gods, basically, in the universe happening. Will the status quo remain and be able to tell us as individuals, sell us a ticket, give, paint a picture for us that we believe what they're saying on either side. I'm not coming down on one side or the other. I'm simply telling you, you've got to listen to what's being said and take it and dissect it because there's some delusion in there. There's some manipulation in there. There's some, this is my, this, these are our personal desires. These are our personal political power plays. This is how we envision this country operating. And th there's this disruptive energy here that's saying, hey, look, we've been doing some changing. We've been doing some changing. And we don't like that change. And then the other side is saying, we got to continue to change. We have to transform the government as we know it. And it's very operation. Now I want to take one more bit in here. Two more. The moon on Thursday was conjunct Saturn in Sagittarius. They were feeling, folks were feeling some type of way that day. They were feeling like this is the moment. Mars in Libra pushing. This is the moment. This is the rallying cry. This is the time for our big ideas, Jupiter in Sagittarius, with the emotions riding high. This is the day we make our move and make our stand to enact the balance that we feel so passionately about that's represented right here. It had to almost happen on this day. Everything was aligned for it because not only did we have Mercury here, we've got Venus here. So the, the people bringing the impeachment, articles of impeachment or the impeachment inquiry rules saw the beauty. They said, this is beautiful. This is what we can do. They were empowered by the sun to do what is, was deeply, deeply at their core, what they desired. And no matter what anyone else was going to say during that moment, their perception was not going to change. Why? Because now at this point they believed it. And we're going to communicate Mercury in retrograde. We're going to communicate what our beliefs are to the public because it is our civic duty because we cannot do things as normal. The articles of an impeachment, the impeachment inquiry, I should say itself, if you look back on his, on history at no other time, were these articles of impeachment, or should I say this impeachment inquiry, at no time was the process set up as it has been at the time of this recording. This is not business as usual. Not business as usual. This is a disruptive event to our very, in here in the U.S., our very governmental structure. 
It is a disruptive, aggressive event that is kind of assaulting the balance of justice. What does Libra over here, Mars and Libra, what does that represent? Libra is known by the scales, right? Justice, law. This disruptive event, according to scholars, is almost devoid. It's pretty much opposite of due process. Very aggressive way to apply the law. This had to happen on this day. There was no choice. Everything aligned for this to occur on this day. So friends, how do I sum this all up? As you can see, the astrology of impeachment was there. All the planets lined up. So now, how do you take this as we move forward and watch this unfold before us? This is what you do. You have got to pay attention to what is underneath everything that's being said. You cannot take any of this right now and say, oh, this is truth. This is definitely truth. I believe it. This is also a time for you to personally check your own belief systems. This is a time for you personally to do your own fact checking. This is a time for you personally to decide if you're just going to take everything that's being handed to you and continue to live in this kind of crazy delusional fight for power over you, or are you going to raise up in your own personal power and say, no, no, I'm going to examine it all. This is a very key astrological time frame, energetic time frame in our country, because we are at the precipice where law seems to be being uh, suspended, where people's perceptions are so clouded that they suspend truth temporarily to fit their, their narrative because they believe in it so much. This is a very critical time for us here in this country. Everything is being shaken. It's being upended. How we operate, how we govern ourselves, how our democracy even works from this point forward. Rest on this fulcrum. The balance is trying to be shaken. Impeachment was going to happen. That The fact that it was voted on on Thursday, I just showed you everything aligned. The empowerment was there, the full on, yes, we can do this right now. Yes, we deep down want to do this. Yes, we can make this power play. Yes, we can present our case to say, this man is, 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 is abusing his power. And on the other side, they can say, no, we're not abusing our power. We just refuse to allow past sins, past power plays, past abuses of power that have thus far been covered up. No, no, no. We desire for the past sins to be brought to light. What went on in the dark is coming to light. That's my take on the astrology of impeachment. Tell me what you think. Tell me, Lisa, you're just all, you're full of it. I don't even understand what you're saying. Like, how could you even say that Neptune had anything to do with it? Or, Lisa, you know what? You might be onto something, and maybe I need to take a look a little bit deeper into this and not just take everything at face value. It's being laid open for us, guys. What are you going to do? Thank you for watching. Please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. Until next time, peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Namaste. Bye-bye.